is of that word being fulfilled, that I know it is the truth. Say and stand there and see the creator bring a living creature into existence, right in presence of your eyes. You shake your head and wonder, and then you look around and see him bring another one just exactly like it, because you said so. And turn over here and say there will be another one there, and look, and there it is. Now, that's the truth. Amen. Oh, where should we be? There is perfect faith. No vision. Just speak the word. Then we saw the squirrel. He just said, the scripture, what it was, and speak it. And don't doubt it. But what you say, it'll be there. And I took God at his word, and it was that. And I tried. That's just as powerful as, then, as your pastor. That's just as powerful as it was when Joshua stopped the sun. Because the sun was already there. The elements was moving, and he stopped the move. But this, he brought something there that wasn't there. Amen. He created. Amen. I'm so glad to be acquainted with a God that can take the dust of the earth someday without anything that calls me back to life again. That's Amen. 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 And uh, after being planted in the grave, oh my, there is my faith looks up to thee, thou man of Calvary. Amen. You say and don't doubt, but believe that what you said, you shall have what you said. See, believe that it happened. David in the psalm spoke of it. And with it, he took his power and he ministered to others. Not only did he keep it to himself, but he ministered to others by it. Also saved others, even to the uttermost. And he can do the same thing now. And promised the same faith to the believers in his word. In John, uh, John 14, 12, he said, so in Mark 16, and also in Mark 11, 23, we just read. Now what? Now he has appeared to us in the same form that he did to them in the Old Testament, and in the same as it is in the New Testament, and is showed by the same word, the same Christ. Yes. And I declare to you that Christ is the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. The, the word Christ means the anointed one. Just the person that's anointed, that is the Christ. The anointed one. How many know that's true? That's true. Uh, the anointed one. There will be a man that will be anointed. Anointed with what? The Bible says in Acts 2 that Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God, anointed with the Holy Ghost, went about us and done great works in him. And God manifested through that he was in this man. And now we become anointed with that same spirit. Anointed, Messiah, Messiah of the last days, to shine forth the resurrection of Jesus Christ, to show that He is not dead, but in the form of the Holy Ghost, He's in His people, moving among His bride with a love affair to her, pouring out into her Himself. They are becoming one far away. And the same sign promised by the same God in the same word is making the same manifestation. Amen. There's nothing left for us to do but believe it. Amen. And believe it is the substance. Amen. And that creates a perfect faith. Amen. Just think how, how numb we are. Just think of that. It's in it. Now let's see. Has he done all things well? Has he ever told us anything? But what happened just exactly the way he said. <laughs> hasn't he performed and hasn't a great pillar of fire been among us and done just exactly like he promised to do? Yeah. Haven't we seen it? Haven't science taken it? Haven't been predicted what would happen? Go right there and have it even in the papers and magazines, pack it right back and show it when it's told you months before it happened? Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't he done just exactly the way he did in the Old Testament yeah. and the New Amen. Testament? Amen. Just exactly the same yeah. one? Amen. Amen. The same Holy Spirit comes as the discerner and the Word of God, which is quicker and sharper than a two-edged sword, a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Isn't that the same God? 
Now that same one is not a stranger off somewhere else. He's here. Amen. He sure does this to create a perfect faith. I feel him. I know it's right now. I know that his spirit is here. I know that he knows all things. Amen. Amen. And I know he's supposed to, to do something. He's been doing something to, to create this perfection of faith in the people. Yes. Are we going to walk into eternity like it was in the days of Noah and ate those things? No. Are we going to come like Lot the three out of Sodom? No. Are we going to come like in the days of John the Baptist with six believers? Let us believe. No. For his works is perfect. They're manifested daily and perfectly before us, showing that he is the Word. The Word, Hebrews, the fourth chapter says, the Word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, of, of, in, uh, even a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Amen. Think of that. The Word of God is that, a discerner of the intents of the heart. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and of spirit, and of the joints, and of the mind, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The Word made flesh. Hallelujah. The Word operating in human flesh by physical signs, by material signs, by spiritual signs, perfectly to bring to you a perfect faith for a perfect rapture. Why can't we look at it? Not a mystic. The devil has put everything in the world before he tries to make you, you keep you from believing. Yes, You're bringing the meaning and trying to throw everything you can in front of you. Shake it away from you. The Bible says, rise and shake yourself. Yes. Shake yourself. His spirit is here. You believe God will give you a victory over that diabetes? Yes. That is a woman sitting beside you. Don't know you, but the spirit's upon her. What she's worried about, so look. You got a child that has to have an operation for an eye. Yeah, she's Chicago. Uh, Quicker, more powerful than a two-edged sword. A discerner. What is the word? Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. Surgery. There's a lady sitting right in the next room there just had an eye operation. Didn't do too well, but you, you believe it, you'll get, you'll, get, you'll get all right. You believe it? All right. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Second Paul, it isn't for you, it's for this grandson sitting here. You're praying about it, but you believe that God will make it well? You believe God can tell me what's wrong with it? Doctors don't know. That's right. Swelling, lungs. That's right. You got a blood condition. Correct. Right. You're trying to confuse about whether you're going to go to school or not. Quicker, more powerful than a two age story. I see a woman losing her food. She's somewhere, let me get a face somewhere. Yes, sitting right there. Her name's Miss Llewellyn. She believed with all her heart that some trouble will leave you. Hallelujah. Amen. Here's a lady sitting right across from her, looking at me right now, sitting on the end. She's wearing glasses. She's got arthritis. It's in your left hand. It was. It ain't now. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, if you believe. What about that little baby right back there? It comes from Ohio. It's got cancer in the eye. You believe God will heal it? You look. You believe it? That's from Ohio. You believe now that God will make it well, you live. What is it? More powerful, quicker than hand. Here's such a lady here, some sucker, she's got trouble in her shoulder. That's right. Is that right? All right, believe it and leave. See? The word of God. A deserter of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. Now there's no prayer cards in this building. There's nobody that prays without any prayer cards. We don't use them here. Let's just have to keep in order. You want to be prayed for? How many wants to be prayed for? While the Word is manifested through flesh. Hallelujah. Let this roll here. Get out and come down this way, right down this aisle here first. You that wants to be prayed for. Then after that, I want this aisle here to come down behind us. 
Then after this, you let this all over the air come. Preachers, more power! Amen. Could a two-eight sword do that? No, sir. But the Word of God can do it. Why? It is the Word of God. Now, you believe it? Amen. Yeah. Where's that sister from down uh, in Tennessee? Uh, sister Unwin, uh, down The great physician now is here. I never forget that in Fort Wayne that night when that little Amish girl or Dufford was sitting there playing that the great physician now is here. Here that little boy was healed. She jumped up, the Holy Ghost fell on her. The pretty hair fell down across her shoulders, and the piano never missed the key. Great physician now is here to sympathize with Jesus. Supernatural power moving on piano keys playing the great position out of here. Well, are you believe? I remember when you said, Now, if you don't believe it, don't come. And I said, I'm going to come into this. I'm going to believe it. When I, the Bible says, Two signs to follow that and read. Get the lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. Now, I would exist. God's proved it to you, I believe. He manifests His Word to show that it is His Word. A scripture fulfillment to prove that it is. Now, you believe it when you pass by. Would you do it? And that's why we had the morning. That's what the Bible says. You got the morning on here, Brother Cornell. Get that and come over on this other side. Let's just fulfill the scripture. Get over on this side here. And anoint every person that they pass by. Remember? Now, so I'll be sure that I'll get the prayer of faith for every one of you. Let's have everybody put your hands on one another that's believers. Just reach over and cross your hands on each other. This is where we're going to find out something that's even I see just how advanced my church is on what we believe in. Amen. See just how advanced the people are. How they're ready to take the sword and walk out the front line. Amen. I challenge you, thank you. I challenge you, you can't, you can't make me disbelieve anymore. What are these things done for? So that people will believe. Yes, it's the Word. It's what that shows that I'm preaching you the truth, the Word. The Word made flesh. Made flesh in you. Made Word, made life in you. Made life in me. See? The great position. All right? Let us bow our heads. Lord Jesus, the great position now is here. You are the position. I have preached your word, and your word has declared Amen. that you are here, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, that you cannot fail. You never fail the flow. And now let each one of these that has their hands on each other, may the blessings of God rest upon them. Amen. And if we come, they're believers. And if we anoint them with all the pastor now, and pass them through this line, may each one pass through here with faith to believe Amen. Amen. To know that the very God of heaven stands present. May each one shake themselves. Can they only this one time, Lord? Just let them set it slow down, Lord, one time. Open their eyes, Lord, that they can see what is going on and not be blind, staggered, but to see the reality of the presence of a resurrected Jesus Christ. Grant it, Lord. Through Jesus' name, amen. I charge you in the name of Jesus Christ that you come out in this line unless you feel that you got that perfect thing. Because you're only taking their time, somebody else's time. Don't you do it. And by, as long as I preach to you, have I ever said one thing to you but what has happened? Amen. Exactly. The Lord did that. He did it not for me, I believe. He did it for you that you might believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. Now you believe it. It'll be all right. And it, it'll get well. When you come by here, drop your unbelief right in this uh, spiritual pocket down here. You won't see it, but it's there. When that all touches you, drop your unbelief right there. Deposit there and walk away with perfect faith that you're well. Will you do it? The Lord bless you then. All right? I'm going to ask somebody who can read songs. Just where's that great preacher, brother? That, uh, what's his name? Cap. Brother Cap. Is he in the line? What's that? Come here, Brother Cap. 
and sang there and sang congregation while we all pray. The great physician now is here as they did it. Each one sang now with their heart. Don't just think that I'm going to sing. Great physician now is here. Step by the Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord, you care. Step by the Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. All your God. All your souls. Hey, uh, fear to learn. Yes. The great physician now is here. Uh, 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 the Jesus. He proves that he's here. I believe him. Amen. All right. Let's, uh, let those who have faith come forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'll lay my hands on it for the In the name of Jesus Christ, I can do this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'll lay hands on it for